across with domestic and uh, global investors in a matter of s some satisfaction there. My name is Viraj Bhatkar from PGP1. Uh, my question is, uh, sometimes business decisions are uh, driven by instincts and not just uh, analysis and uh, calculations alone. So what is your opinion about this? You know, there are, uh, there are two ways to look at this. To be completely instinct driven and ignore data is perilous. So one has to be very, very data centric. One has to extract all that one can out of what the story, the data tells. But after that, the couple of examples, for example, what I gave you on risks. When you are at a crossroad and the data, you have exhausted the intuition that the data can give you, then you are taking a call. There is a judgment at that point of time, right? So it is really uh, two pieces of the same puzzle. The only thing I would say is to say that, you know, I would be instinct driven and not look at data would be perilous for sure. Or to say that the data has to give me a decision is also silly. That never happens. So you have to know the point at which data cannot tell you anything more and then you know, you take the call, fully aware of what is the downside of each of the options. One line, Vijaya, and I teach uh, HR and OB here. Uh, actually, today I was uh, in class, we were discussing an organizational culture. And uh, with the students, we were discussing so many things. And of course, teaching culture is not easy. You know, a lot of things are very abstract. We were discussing about artifacts, which would be more concrete at a concrete level. And then we were discussing about values and assumptions and how do you shape culture and how do you bring in a common pattern of uh, working together. I think uh, your lecture was simply superb. Thank you very much. I hope the students have got something. Thank you, madam. As a token of our love and affection from all of us at TAPME, I request Dr. Vasudev Rao, director of TAPME, to present a memento to the chief guest to exp express our gratitude. Thank you, sir. I now request Professor Chaudhary Prasad, Dean, Planning and Development, TAPME, to propose the vote of thanks. Good evening, friends. It's my privilege to offer our sincere thanks to today's chief guest, Ms. Chitra Ramkrishna. We have been exchanging lots of mails and uh, communications through her secretariat and through our contacts. So finally, the day has come and then she made it. We are very happy, madam, to have you here and hear from you. The person who has started or rather worked during the beginning of this new stock exchange, what you have used it as a word, Sarkari Stock Exchange or Babu Stock Exchange. And possibly you would have gone nostalgic. I happen to be in Mumbai, in State Bank headquarters between 84 and 93. I had a personal experience of this, going to the stockbrokers, pleading, waiting for their mercy. They won't disclose what rate they are going to dispose, when they are going to dispose, when they are going to make the payments, those kind of days prior to 90. I had also closely seen the kind of uh, turmoil that has happened during Harshad Mehta scam. Those were the definitely days there was no technology no transparency, no SEBI, no NSDL, all sorts of things. And then possibly it would have been a, definitely a fantastic challenge for you in those days to build a parallel stock exchange when Bombay Stock Exchange was already established for more than 100 years. Really, from our side, we should compliment the kind of, whatever you said, hunger for learning and the kind of work you people had put in, fantastic news and information, to our younger generation, possibly your passed on, that is probably an institutional building in unknown uh, setup. You also use it as learning and entrepreneurship and whatnot. We are very, very happy to have you, to have heard you, to have what kind of turmoil, what kind of a 
tensions, what kind of a confusions, what kind of a entry you would have made during at that time in setting up the industries, uh, in the, uh, institution called new uh, National Stock Exchange. So we are really benefited by your lecture to have heard. I think the younger generation will have to learn because there are also regulations to reforms and also scams going on. These are all the kind of passage that has passed through in that 90s to, to the, this uh, century or this uh, decade what we have seen. So definitely you would have definitely recalled all your days and shared with us. I do not know how much a 20 years experience can be delivered in about 20 minutes. It's pretty difficult. You made it and we are very grateful to you, Madam. Thank you very much. I thank our director and dean academics, faculty colleagues, students of the PGP, and the support staff from administration, media, and all those connected with this to have made it a grand success. Thank you one and all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you one and all. Good night.